weapons of mass destruction found on Mars. Have you heard of perchlorate or perchlorate? It is a toxic chemical covering the red planet of war. Perchlorate is a chemical used in the production of explosives, rocket fuel, and it's blanketing much of Mars. And combined with the additional compounds, makes it 10 times deadlier. According to this article, read all about it, express.co.uk. It's by Sean Martin. Let me give you a quick excerpt. Space boffins have been stepping up their efforts recently to get humans to Mars with a view of eventually colonizing it. But any plans may have to be scuppered after it was revealed the planet is covered in bacteria, which is toxic to humans. The University of Edinburgh researched and looked at a mix of oxidants, iron oxides, UV energy, and chemical compounds called perchlorates, and they have found that it is highly damaging to Earth-based living organisms. When the perchlorates are mixed with iron oxides and hydrogen peroxides, they muster a toxic cocktail, which leads to a tenfold increase in the death of cells. Now, here's the deal. NASA has known about this for years. So why is this article just coming out now? Why are they making it sound like it's a big deal now after Elon Musk is really pushing to colonize Mars after technologies are being unveiled, proton, photon, I'm sorry, thrusters that will travel about the third, about a third of the speed of light, and they've been able to recreate these tests over and over and over in laboratories. This is stuff we're being told about that uses about the same amount of energy as a typical rocket being shipped into space right now. Now, for those of you that have never heard of perchlorate, it's both naturally occurring and man-made chemical used in the production of rocket fuel, missiles, fireworks, flares, explosives. It's also present in bleach and fertilizers oftentimes. The levels that they are discovering when I say that they discovered weapons of mass destruction, this is remnants of weapons of mass destruction. Mars is the war planet, the war god Ares in the Greek pantheon. Then you could even take that back to the Sumerian, Nergal. Let me read to you real quick, directly from the EPA.gov, Perchlorate is a highly soluble element in water and relatively stable and mobile in surface and subsurface aqueous systems. Now, types of military and defense-related facilities with known releases include missile ranges, missile and rocket manufacturing facilities, In addition, the past disposal of munitions in burial pits or by open burning and open detonation could result in releases of this into the environment. The amount of perchlorate released can vary depending on the length of time that the disposal area was used and the types of munitions disposed of in the area. Now, obviously, this stuff isn't good for anybody. And as that stuff was just confirmed on Mars combined with the other elements out there, it's about 10 times as toxic. So when you hear about this, you know, this article is from 2000. And this is an older article. Let me read this to you real quick. Finding, and this is from space.com. Finding calcium perchlorate was one of our most unexpected results, said Peter Smith, the Phoenix principal investigator at the University of Arizona in Tucson. Perchlorate is, a, is not a common word in the English language. Many of us have to go look it up. Smith said during the, Sma the Space Fest Nanu Nanu conference held from May 24th through the 27th in Tucson. Smith also said that microbes on Earth use perchlorate for an energy source. They actually live off highly oxidized chlorine, and in reducing the chlorine down to chloride, they use the energy in that transaction to power themselves. In fact, when there's too much 
perchlorate in drinking water, microbes are used to clean it up. Furthermore, seasonal flow features seen on Mars may be caused by high concentrations of the brines of perchlorate, which have a strong attraction to water and can be drastically lowered. or can drastically lower its freezing point, Smith told Space.com. It's also devilishly dangerous. The high levels of perchlorate found on Mars would be toxic to humans, Smith said. This article came out a few years ago, and they're making a big deal out of it again. Then you look at this Greek pantheon. Looks like the guy just jumped out of the swimming pool. (laughs) Well, that's his excuse anyway. The Greek god of war, the 12 Olympians, the son of Zeus... And you read through this, the character origins and worship. Ares was one of the 12 Olympians in the archaic tradition represented by the Odyssey. Zeus expresses a reoccurring Greek revulsion toward the god, revulsion towards the god when Ares returns wounded and complaining from the battlefield at Troy. I need to zoom this in a little bit. I'm having a tough time reading this. Then looking at him darkly, Zeus, who gathers the clouds, spoke to him. Do not sit beside me and whine. You double-faced liar. To me, you are the most hateful of all the gods who hold Olympus forever. Quarreling is dear to your heart, wars and battles. And yet I will not long endure to see you in pain since you are my child. And it was me that your mother bore you. But were you born of some other god and proved so ruinous long since you would have dropped beneath the gods of the bright sky? Now, Ares in Sparta was viewed as a model soldier. His resilience, physical strength, and military intelligence were unrivaled. Human sacrifices were offered to him. An ancient statue representing the god in chains suggests that the martial status and victory were to be kept in the city of Sparta. Now, if you look at who he probably was in Sumerian culture, Nergal, Gurunagal in Sumerian, He most likely is the god of war, Ares. Now, this is an interesting article that's available if you go to ncbi.nlm.nih.gov, National Library of Medicine National Institute, uptake on perchlorate and terrestrial plants. And this is describing how certain plants can absorb these toxins and depending on the type of plant so this would be a way to actually get rid of a lot of it in the soil on mars now i feel that there was a huge battle on mars and that's why a lot of this stuff is left over and that's why mars is in the shape that it's in right now i think that massive battles went on out there and these are the remnants what's your take also There are solutions, ladies and gentlemen, but there's also serious repercussions that could take place. And I'm going to get into this on the next podcast. If you have seen the film Life yet, excellent movie. I definitely recommend watching it. just came out a short while ago. They go to Mars. They find this single cell that's in a... Uh, you know, it, it's it's not doing anything when they find it, but then they activate it, and then it, then it starts to move and it starts to reproduce itself. And I'm not going to give too much of the film away, but I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So if you want to watch the movie and you don't want to know anything more about it, then I'll give you a, a quick notice here. So I'll wait a few seconds. Okay, so the. Artificial, no, it's not artificial. The the cell starts replicating itself. And every cell is muscle and brain and eye. Like, so it can see with every cell. 
It can think with every cell, and every cell is a huge, you know, is a muscle. It's all in one. It's like an all-in-one package. So the more cells that reproduce, the stronger it becomes, the more aware it becomes, and it eventually flips out. And this specific cell, just at one point, one cell becomes so powerful, so fast that they're linking this to what took out the planet Mars, what caused life as we know it to be completely devastated, completely gone. Now, with that said, what if there was a technology like that that was released, or a biotech, or even an extraterrestrial presence that every piece of that entity, whether it be in microbe form, or a full-on body the size of a human being, anywhere in between, or something even ma ma much larger than that. And it could travel consciousness through each piece and replicate itself through each piece, similar to the gray goo and these new DNA synthetic computers that will self-replicate when they need more memory to process and more speeds. They'll actually just create more to obtain more pathways to find information quicker. Imagine a sentient being that starts off as a single cell doing that until it completely destroys the entire planet and then it goes into hibernation mode and then we go to that planet and accidentally bring it back with us and I find it interesting that after the film Life comes out shortly after then articles start pushing again this toxic chemical that's been discovered and the, the name of it, you know, if you go to express.co.uk, Mars move off, researchers find deadly bacteria on Red Planet. It immediately links my mind to the film Life because of the possibilities. So what if, because there's bacteria that can be created and viruses that can be created like bacteriophage and other stuff, and I'll share that with you on the next podcast that will go after specific cells, specific matter, and then self-replicate itself in that matter until it's completely destroyed, absorbing its information and then rewriting it. Literally, it's, it's like nanotechnology, but it's biology. It's bizarre. So different institutions, and rightfully so, they're doing a great job. They're working on genetically modifying bacteria and viruses to get rid of certain pollutions, even stuff like uranium and radioactive materials. But what happens if it gets tweaked to the point of it creates consciousness and then it starts self-replicating itself or somebody in some laboratory, some psycho mad scientist in a laboratory recreates this technology, biophage stuff, but instead of going after E. coli, it goes after your T cells your nervous system, specific, specific cells in your body that make up particular parts of who you are. And then what if there's life forces already out there that do that naturally, similar to the film Life? I can't wait to get your take. Also, make sure to support our sponsors, you guys, GetTheTea.com. If you're looking for the premium health care products, they have stuff that's good for your stomach, for your digestive tract. They have stuff that's good for your, for your skin. They have detox products that's good for the blood, that's good for, um, you know, if you, need, if you need help going to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, I mean, they've, they've got all sorts of stuff that's really good for you It'll help clean you out, help filter you out. Not too intense. Kind of kind of hits that Goldilocks zone. Their prices are good. And their stuff works. So get the tea.com. When you check out, let them know that Leak Project sent you. Thank you for being here with me. Be excellent to each other, you guys, and be the change you want to see.